This video will explain the feature points available in Match Textiles. Match Textiles is purchased with feature points in increments of 5 points. Each feature point will have an assigned value of 1 to 5 points. You can try out changes to which feature points you will use up to 10 times. After the 10th time, the feature points are set permanent. The configuration program for Match Textiles is in the main Match Textiles directory. The password for this program is DCI Match. By default, points are chosen in order from the list on the left. So for fi a 5 point system, these points would be chosen. And then a 10 point system, 15, and so on but it is possible to pick and choose the features up to the number of points you have purchased. Now we will look at each feature point in detail. First, Fast Correction. Fast Correction has a value of one point and has three main uses. First, Fast Correction allows you to correct a color that does not have a stored recipe. Second, Fast Correction allows you to manually save Smart Match points as well as save the recipe. And third, Fast Correction allows you to synthesize a theoretical reflectance curve based on a manually input recipe. Now we'll delve into more detail in the software about Fast Correction. Inside of our recipe screen in Match Textiles, there's the icon for Fast Correction. Fast Correction is for correcting a color that you don't have a stored recipe. On the left-hand side over here are our stored recipes. So, in our example, the dye house, or someone has brought us two colors and they want to get a correction for those two colors. So we go into Fast Correction and we'll select our quality style at 2075 polyester is fine and our die set we've selected dispersed tiracil and we can measure in our color New line. and we can click on the measure direct button to measure that color okay so now we have our color displayed up here and now we'll go into die set and we'll measure in how that color came out and we'll try to get a correction from that color to this color. So so we'll click on the measure button and we'll select the dies and we'll put in our amounts. And from this point, we can click on production to get the add uh, between from this color to this color. And, and that's your fast correction example. The fast correction icon can also be used to store a smart match point manually as well as a new recipe. So if we click on Fast Correction and we select our quality style, leave it at polyester and our die set, dispersed tiracil, we can then measure in our standard standard and then on die set page we'll measure in the sample how it came out and this will be the color along with the recipe that it will use to store our smart match point so we measure it in we can change the name if we want to And when we add our dye stuff and put in the amounts, and then we 
can click on save and when we click on save it saves the the color of the batch and the recipe together as a smart match point it also prompts you to save the recipe so you can save the recipe for later corrections or uh, as a searchable recipe so we'll click on yes and we're done Also with fast correction, we can create a synthesized recipe from just the amounts of the dye stuff. So if we go into fast correction and we pick our quality style, 2075 polyester, our dye set, and we don't need a standard because we're going to get our reflectance curve from the amounts of dyes we put in. So we click on dye set and in this case we can just select our dyes. And we can put in our amounts. And when we hit save, it creates a recipe. It creates a reflectance curve and allows us to name that new reflectance curve that we just created from the sums of the dye stuff that we put together. Manual recipe input is worth one feature point. This allows you to manually input and store a recipe. This is important to save time when correcting recipes in both production and the lab. Dive stuff can be selected and amounts put in to save a manually input recipe. Stored recipes can be used to perform corrections more quickly since standard and dive stuff amounts are already input. This feature is not enabled if the save button is grayed out. Storage and use of additional effects is worth one feature point. On the matching page, you can see the effect we have put in for the cotton scoured substrate and the factor it will apply when matching. So we can see cotton scoured has a point 8 it'll multiply that when it creates the recipe creating a recipe that's 20 percent lighter the effects or multipliers give you the ability to adjust the strength differences between styles of fabric an example might be bleached cotton versus a scoured substrate the scoured may take dye up 20 percent darker so you must apply an effect of 0.8 to achieve the correct amount of dye here is an example of how you can put in an effect for a particular uh, quality style or substrate delivery. Now we'll take a look at batch match, and this is worth one feature point. This feature allows you to match a group of colors at one time. It calculates a table of recipes to choose from for each standard and stores them. Stored recipes show up in the recipe table. Right click on the recipe and click on lab display to display a list of all possible recipes for each standard. And then you can save. The next feature is max min dye stuff limits, which is worth one feature point. This allows the user to input uh, upper and lower limits of dye stuff at the time of matching. This feature is valuable to dyers and colorists to know the behavior of the dyes and know that it can't be uh, outside of certain ranges. So in the matching screen we can put in uh, our different maxes and mins. Uh, the system will not calculate above or below the max and min on this table. If these boxes are in red they are not enabled. The next option is Smart Match, and it is worth five feature points. 
SmartMat uses stored data from corrections to get better matches and future corrections. On average, SmartMatch cuts in half the number of trials needed to match a color. From our example, a non-SmartMatch match gets a DE of 2.07, whereas when SmartMatch is turned on, the same match gets a DE of 1.17, a considerable improvement. The next option is easy click resorting of the recipe table. And this option is worth one feature point. This allows you to sort recipes based on the criteria selected in the row. Sort on price is the example below. The lowest price recipe is on the left and gets increasingly higher as it moves to the right. The next option is multi illuminate matching and it is worth two feature points. This feature allows recipe calculations for up to four lumens, optimizing to achieve the lowest metamerism. When this feature is active, we can select up to four luminates on the settings tab in the matching section. We can also optimize on metamerism for the four luminates. The recipe results you get in the table can show all four luminates and recipes optimized for metamerism. It will order them according to best match and best metamerism. Multicolor matching is an option worth two feature points. This option allows you to match a blend recipe with more than one color. An example would be a 70-30 poly cotton blend. You can match the polyester brown and the cotton yellow. On the screen, we activate multicolor matching and select our standards. Cacao for the polyester and lemon for the cotton. When we formulate, we get recipes for each section of the recipe. So for cacao, the polyester portion we have a list of recipes and for lemon of uh, the reactive or cotton portion we have a list of recipes. Sensitivity values is an option worth one feature point. It shows how sensitive a recipe is to small changes in dye stuff amount. By comparing sensitivity values we can determine the amount of recipe change with small variations in dyeing, such as temperature, substrate variation, and dye weighing. Sensitivity is turned on on the configuration page for the recipe table. The recipe table can be viewed and sorted on how sensitive a particular dye combination is. The option Automatic Buildup of Dye Stuff Groups is worth three feature points. This feature allows the user to include technical data such as wash fastness, light fastness, or perspiration fastness data. When matching a color, the system will automatically group dye stuff that meet the criteria defined by the user. In the example below, the user puts in a value of greater than 4 for 95 degree wash fastness. When we hit accept limits, the system selects the dyes with a value above 4 for this criteria. The option Fixed Relations of Dye Stuff Pairs is worth one feature point. There may be a requirement that pairs of dyes must be used together at a fixed ratio to each other. This may be required for fastness requirements or certain spectral IR ranges for the military. Or it could be to create a dye that is the ratio of the two other dyes. In this example, we put a ratio of two yellow C5G to one red C4G to match the color V002 elephant. Our list of formulas displayed will maintain the two to one ratio of yellow to red in all the recipes. The lab process option is worth three feature points. Lab process adds chemicals, chemical tables, 
procedures and instructions involved in the lab dyeing process for the recipe printout. Lab process activates combined process and operations to the home page in Match Textiles. Shown below are examples of what is added to the printout in Match Textiles. Notes such as fill water and add chemicals, chemicals and chemical tables, and parameters such as pH value and waiting time. The feature Advanced Data View Designer is worth two feature points. This feature allows you to edit and create new display and printer forms for matched textiles. It's searching for the program and it's called Page View Designer and below is the path to the executable. From the picture, we can see the laboratory die lot form and some of the options that we can edit within this form. If you'd like more information on the Advanced Data View Designer, uh, you can contact our support team. The option Center Side QC is worth five feature points. This feature examines the color deviations between side, center, side of fabrics. This is often used in continuous dyeing to evaluate the quality of a roll along its length and width. Below are some examples of printouts from the center side QC option. On the left we have statistics on our readings and on the right we have control charts. If we need any help on center side QC, please consult our support department. Thank you very much.